Well, military leader Abdurrahman Chiani has also recalled Niger's envoy from Washington, but the U.S. Secretary of State says the Biden administration will continue to support efforts by the West African bloc ECOWAS to restore democracy. We believe it is vitally important that what ECOWAS has called for uh, actually uh, take effect, and that is the uh, freeing of President Bazoum uh, and a restoration of the constitutional order uh, in Niger. And we support the uh, efforts that ECOWAS is making, including the pressure that it's exerting in order to achieve that, uh, that result. Let's bring in our correspondent, Ahmed Idris. He is joining us from Abuja in neighboring Nigeria. And it is the last day of regional talks in Nigeria to try and end the crisis, Ahmed. And there's just so much at stake here, not just for Niger, but for ECOWAS too. Exactly. Two days to the deadline ECOWAS gave to the military authorities in Niger. This meeting is coming to an end here in Abuja. They've been strategizing on possible deployment should in case that became necessary. We've seen a flurry of diplomatic activity over the past few days as ECOWAS probably is trying to find an easy way to resolve this crisis, especially after certain countries have uh, expressed their support to Niger, countries like Mali, Burkina Faso, uh, and a few others, especially uh, in the east and north of the country. Now, Niger is a landlocked country, but basically, uh, a lot of people are thinking that if these countries uh, come together and impose sanctions or code on Niger, or probably that could put a lot of pressure on uh, Niger. So the ECOWAS have sent in delegation also to Libya and Algeria to try to draw them into the uh, process of ending this particular conflict. Meanwhile, security forces in Nigeria, the defense headquarters, had issued a statement earlier, two days ago, saying that so far there is no specific orders for the militaries in the region to deploy or near Niger or go into Niger at the moment. So what they are doing, they just finish their discussions and hand over resolutions to the Council of Heads of State and Government who will make a final call on whatever was necessary. And one military presence that's on its way out after notably French soldiers um, are leaving Niger. They were in the country to fight armed groups in the region. So what impact is their exit going to have on these years of efforts to defeat groups that are linked to ISIL, that are linked to Al-Qaeda in the region? It's going to cause a lot of uh, problems. It's going to create a vacuum. But again, uh, military analysts in the region, uh, in particular, are talking about French presence in West Africa, in Sahel, in their former colonies. Mali has been battling with Al Qaeda and other armed groups for a very long time. The French deployed there for more than a decade, and fortunately, that uh, crisis did not end. That has generated a lot of sentiments against the French in Mali, and that has also generated a lot of anti-French sentiments in several other countries in West Africa, former colonies of were French. But the departure of the French will create a vacuum, uh, which probably could see, uh, could, could sort of um, uh, play li right into the hands of armed groups operating in the region, and probably also create a vacuum for Wagner to intervene. And apart from that, we're also, w w uh, there are also concerns in the region that if uh, the military authorities in Niger accept the calls of most Nigerians to chase out Western powers out of Niger, then probably this will also affect uh, other, the presence of other European countries and the United States of America. If they move out, there will be a huge vacuum. And it's doubtful if the armies of Burkina Faso and Mali and Guinea, who have their own problems in their backyard, will be enough to sort of police a very vast country like uh, Niger. That's very doubtful. So basically, it's going to create a lot of problems for Niger and for the entire region. But the biggest concern politically for the region is that in five, in three, four, five years, the West African region or the Sahel has seen about five, six, or even seven coups, successful and attempted ones. Ahmed, thank you very much for that. Ahmed address with the latest live in Abuja.